welcome back to Beauty Bee and to a chatty get ready with me. We're gonna go very pink today, I think, because I recently finished off my Tarte Harmony blush and because I did that, I got to open this, which is a little sample of NARS Orgasm. I have been lusting after this for a decade and I finally pulled the trigger and purchased it. I used it for the first time yesterday, I really enjoyed it, and I just kind of want to focus my look around it today. But I actually think I'm going to start with this e.l.f. Sheer Sparkling Rose Lip and Cheek Tint. I'm just going to blend that in with my finger. Give myself a little bit of base color. I also just want something creamy on my cheeks right now. I have weird texture right here. I tried a sheet mask that I had for quite a while and I think maybe it was expired, maybe I was just having a bad reaction to the ingredients, but I, I don't know, it just, my skin feels very textured and there's little bumps that aren't quite acne. Anyway, let's move on and I'm going to go in with probably quite a bit of orgasm on my cheeks. I'm just going to take that on my angled blush brush. So what have y'all been up to? I have been working so much, trying to finish up a bunch of research. And it's been going actually really well, but I've been really busy. And easily distracted by a uh, old loves. That sounded very, uh, that sounded very potentially romantic. It, it's not, I mean like Star Wars and um, the Beatles and for some reason One Direction, which is not something that I particularly liked before. I mean, it was fine. I never disliked them. But I think I was just a hair too old when they first came out. I think I'm right around the same age. I think I am the same age as like the band members are. But it's, I don't know. I mean, I listened to them before, but now I've probably driven my roommate nuts, but she's too nice to say anything. I haven't actually thought through exactly what I want on my eye, but I figured I would put this in the crease because it seemed to go with the theme. Um, Let's go actually with this orangey shade on the lid, maybe a mixture of the two. Yeah, let's just do that. I thought when I was getting ready, I don't know why, but I just thought that this had pink in it, this scarf. I've had it for years. I've worn it maybe twice because it's a scarf and I'm just, I've acknowledged that I'm not a scarf person. They look so cute on other people, but then I put them on myself and it's just like, what is this? This doesn't seem right on me. This is probably going to be really quick because I'm just, I'm not feeling super precise detailed looks today. I'm just feeling like putting on some color and calling it good. I think I'm going to mix, dip into a mixture of this darker pink shade and this berry for the lower lash line. So, so odd because I'm back into Star Wars hardcore. I've always been like an EU fan, 
which is the expanded universe. It's everything that's not the movies. But really, when people talk about the EU, they tend to mean, well, at least old EU fans, tend to mean the novels. And to some extent, the comic books. But I was always more on the novel side of things. But, like, I still haven't watched the entirety of the second season of The Mandalorian. I don't know why. I just cannot get into the new canon at all. Like, I invested so much time in reading all of those EU novels in, like, the mid-2000s. So I was really cool in middle school, in case you were wondering. Uh, spending all of my time reading Star Wars novels. And now it's like none of it counts anymore. It just doesn't feel fair. <laughs> I don't know why it bothers me so much, but it really does. Like, I liked some of the new movies. Well... I thought that the m new movies were interesting pieces by themselves. I thought I thought Seven was a good follow-up to the original trilogy. It, it essentially felt like a reboot, but you know what? That's, I think, what they hired J.J. Abrams to do. And then Eight was a good movie by itself, but didn't fit with Seven. And then 9 didn't really fit with 7 or 8. And it brought back the single thing that fans really didn't like from the EU. Like, the Palpatine clones. Why, why would you do that? I'm so confused. I didn't intend for this to be me ranting about Star Wars, but you know what? We're just gonna go with it because it's what I feel like talking about today. And there were parts of episode 9 that I really liked. I thought that really 8 and 9 both did a really good job with Rey and Kylo. I thought their relationship was interesting, if a bit underdeveloped. It seemed wrong that we didn't see Ben Solo talk at all except for the word ow. Everything they did with Finn was questionable. Most of what they did with Poe was pretty questionable. Leia was just not good at all. Um, she was always standing in that like same position and making the same facial expression. And her responses to things just never were quite right. It's like, that's not how you respond to the question that you were asked. But, I mean, obviously, they were stuck in a hard spot because they needed to include Leia. But they, I mean, clearly they couldn't get Carrie Fisher to come back because Disney may have billions of dollars to throw at Star Wars, but you can't bring people back from the dead for a billion dollars even. They would try. Okay. Went a little overboard on the blush and highlight combination, but you know what? I like it. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm just going to use some of the butter gloss. This is in the shade Tiramisu, I think. Yes. Yeah, that movie was such a mess. I like how they showed Rose for all of 15 seconds in the entire movie. Just, what a mess. I feel like Lucasfilm also caused some of the problem because Lucasfilm really wanted to act as though anyone who had any problem at all with episode eight was racist and or sexist, preferably both, 
And the way that Kelly Marie Tran in particular was treated on social media was terrible and inexcusable. But there were definitely problems with that film. I mean, I enjoyed episode eight as a standalone film, but I think after episode seven, the tone was not quite right. I don't feel like Rose was a particularly strong character either. I was actually pretty excited when I saw that they were going to have an Asian woman who isn't tiny be in Star Wars. I thought that was really cool. And it sounded like she was going to be a lead character through the rest of the trilogy, which I thought was awesome. And then I wasn't, I wasn't wild about her. It felt like she was there to explain the message, but I'm, but I think people are smart enough to understand what the message is. Anyway, I think I said earlier, I didn't intend for that to turn into a Star Wars rant, but it sure did. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you like the look that I came up with. I especially hope you like the look I came up with because it's going to be in like the next three videos probably. I'm planning to pre-film quite okay, a bit so today. I this video was over and then I caught a glimpse of myself in that mirror back there and realized just how awful uh, my lip gloss looked with the rest of my face. So we're switching that. I think I'm going to use this uh, e.l.f day to night duo. I'm going to use the night side, which is what is it? Deep peachy brown. I think deep is a bit too strong. It's like a mid-tone peachy brown. Okay. I think that's much better. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and I hope that hearing me talk about Star Wars for eight minutes or something ridiculous wasn't uh, way too much. If it was, feel free to let me know and I will just keep that to a minimum going forward. Thanks again for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed and I really hope I'll see you next time. Bye!